Hello again, I'm Bridget Dale. Mistletoe is a parasite. That's what kind of plant it is. It gets its little vines down and around and under the bark of a tree and it holds on. In the olden days, no one used to like it. They said it was a pest. Olden days. It's code for when you know something happened a really long time ago but you have no clue how long ago. Like, couldn't give you a date range at all. Olden days. Some say that the word mistletoe comes from the German words for dung and branch because it has little white berries and it looks like there's bird duty all over it. Mistletoe also doesn't smell as nice as I thought it would. Then, someone in the olden days said, that plant looks like it would smell nice, but it actually smells like poo. Oh well, let's kiss. The tradition of kissing under the mistletoe originated with Scandinavians, or Romans, or Vikings. They really have no idea. I mean, if you like wanted to say your family invented it, you probably have a decent shot. According to this tradition, if you find yourself under the mistletoe with someone, you have to kiss them, or you'll be alone for the whole new year. The fact that you always see mistletoe hung in doorways really has nothing to do with the tradition, I don't think. It's not like hanging the stockings by the fireplace for Santa where it makes sense. It's because people have to go through the doorways. It's about odds. Which you could say was tricky, but I think it's nice. I mean, if the mistletoe was off in some corner and you went and stood under it, it'd be really obvious you were looking for it, you know. Mistletoe do's and don'ts. Do hang it in a doorway. Don't hang it in your front doorway. Too overeager. Also, don't hang it in the bathroom doorway. Keep it to one mistletoe per holiday party, please. It's going to be the kind of party with a mistletoe every three feet. Put that on the invitations. If you get kissed under the mistletoe, I think you have to then walk away, move on. Don't just stand there clogging the mistletoe area. Don't eat your mistletoe. It's kind of a party foul, plus it can kill you. If you want to get really traditional, every time you kiss under the mistletoe, you're supposed to take a berry from it. Then when the mistletoe is out of berries, people don't have to kiss under it anymore. I got a mistletoe free with my Christmas tree, but it's kind of dried out and all the berries are falling off by themselves. That can't be a good sign. Another option is setting your mistletoe on fire. There's a myth that burning a mistletoe is a way for a woman to predict her love life. If your mistletoe burns strong and steady, you're going to have a good marriage. If your mistletoe has weak flickering flames, you're going to be in a bad relationship. I think I'm going to let mine dry out just a little more before setting it on fire. Bye till Friday.